Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War 2. I'm Liz. We are apparently training Flashbanger. It's going to be done in one day. We have uh, the ability to make contact with Western US. We're going to do that. It'll be done in one day. And then we are going to have to infiltrate the Advent Radio Tower. We're going to see what squad and gear we have available for it. We should have all the gear, but an awesome squad, hopefully. Which means we can actually pull a bunch of these people off of Intel now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll keep five on Intel. And we're going to pull the scientist off as well. And give them something else. I think Elena was their advisor before. I mean, it's really awkward giving them an advisor who doesn't have, like, super destructive abilities if. I'm going to be giving them standard guns. But they've got a lot of personnel here, so we'll give them Elena again for the time being. Or, you know what? No. I've got a lot of engine. <sighs> if we get like an intel raid, it would be really nice to have an engineer there. Hmm. Or not an engineer, a soldier. Yeah, no, let's give them an engineer. Let's try and really hammer the supplies if we can. And let's uh, finish making contact and then work on that radio tower. Advent Strength 3. We're going to be liberating a low Advent Strength region, but that's fine. All I need is a region liberated. That's much more important at the moment, that we just get a region. All right, we've made contact, and Dieter finished Flashbanger. Awesome. So what's next in his tree? After Flashbanger, he has access to Resilience, which is uh, minus to crit. So that's pretty good. Not going to lie. It's, it's pretty good. We're reading you. New regional contacts located. Eastern U.S. and Mexico. Very good. What is all in? What's its bonus? Supplies from resistance drops increase by 20%. We need two towers and we need all three things. So yeah, I'd like to put a tower here and then contact both of these zones and um, get these extra resistance supplies. And then we need one more tower. Advent Strength 2, not bad. We've got four personnel here and I'm going to have them all work on recruitment for the time being. I could give them an uh, uh, a uh, advisor. It's going to be See where where did I put Elena because Elena shows available. Oh, I put an engineer there. Okay. Yeah. Whoosh, crazy. We'll give them Elena. Uh, the problem with Elena here is that this is a new place that will have faceless, guaranteed, like I'm positive it will. And we're probably only going to have like three dudes to help us with it, and that's if there's only one faceless. So actually, you know what, no, we're not going to put anybody there. We're just going to have four um, recruit people here, and once we get a couple extra people in this haven, we'll put an advisor there. Because I don't want to get drawn into a rendezvous mission that I can't actually handle. And we'll get them supplying us soon. Uh, next. Next, we need to go and launch that mission, I think. But before we go to the site, what is our roster look like? We have True North. We have the boss. This is going to allow us to take five or six people, I think. And we're, de we're definitely going to want a fast assault and a shinobi on this mission. So we've got the boss, we've got True North, we've got Butcher. Okay, so that's three. It'd be good to have a specialist, Black Widow, four, and a gunner maybe. Uh, if I bring a gunner, that would be what? Giggles is out for a little bit. Maybe it's not a gunner then, maybe it's a grenadier. DEFCON is out for a little bit. 
and War Horse is out for a little bit. Okay, that's that's rough. Next Gunadier I have is Big Money, who is acceptable. Um, next Gunner I have is probably Flounder, who has got pretty low movement. And then if they allow a sixth person, we bring the other class. So it's going to be Gunner or Grenadier in that last slot. And if they allow a sixth person, the one that we didn't take will go in that slot. Although sharpshooters are really useful on this mission as well. Uh, maybe we take Ben. I want to look at Ben real quick and look at his AWC abilities. We should be able to see his next. It's lightning hands. So he's not going to get, um, what's it called, face off until his last AWC ability. That's shitty. Oh well. Whatever. Formidable. That's really good. Well, we're not going to train him now because we're probably going to want to use him right away. But that's really good. Okay, we've got the soldiers available. We should have the gear available because I'm not infiltrating anything at the moment. I don't have any money to do much. All I really want is to finish incendiary grenades and then we'll go on this, I think. And that might be done by the time we reach it. Well, no, <laughs> because we have to go over there first. So let's, uh, hidden reserves is power, yeah. Let's head here to New Arctic. For one. Hopefully by the time we get there, incendiary grenades is done. Not yet. So we scan for a second and incendiary grenades is done. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Just out of curiosity, what can I do with the supplies I have? Anything? Chameleon suit, red screen, stiletto, gas grenade. No. Laser sights, stocks, high capacity magazines, hair triggers, and autoloaders. The next big important ones are battlefield medicine, blue screen protocol, which I don't have the mech for, although it doesn't cost any money. Skull mining. I don't have skull mining yet. I need that. I have the skull jack, but I, it, I wonder if I've been bringing the skull jack without realizing that I don't have skull mining yet. Hellweave, venom rounds. Venom rounds would be good, but I don't have the supplies. Scopes. I have the scopes if I take them off of equipment, I think. Probably the same with suppressors. I could probably get all of the tier ones of those. Question is, do we want to make maybe one of these? high capacity mags for example I don't know I don't think so we can make one more predator armor but we're not going to need it for this mission so we shouldn't do it yet we can make an alloy plating or a vest alloy plating would be good we should actually make more alloy platings do they cost Hello, 10 to commander. make I have three yeah, they cost 10 supplies to make. And a trooper corpse. Outlay plating is overall good. Like, upgrading your plating is excellent. And I'm not going to get enough of the better kinds of platings in time to just bypass outlay plating, so it's probably good to spend the supplies I have on this. We only have nine alloys left, though. That could be rough. Well, this will be enough for everybody on the mission. So we'll go with that. And we did get one incendiary grenade. So let's do this. Are we going to get five or six? Five. Okay. So the boss is going. True North is going. Uh, Butcher is going. Black Widow is going. Now, is it a gunner or a sharpshooter that we want? Let's take the sharpshooter. We'll bring Deadwood. Not having light him up. Or not light him up. 
we have light them up. It's on our ranger. Not having um, hail of bullets might be a problem, but I'm hoping sharpshooter makes up for it. Uh, and I'm going to equip these guys. I'll see you in a minute. All right, here's our squad. It's slightly different. I changed out the sharpshooter for a grenadier. Um, let us take advantage of that incendiary grenade and our plasma grenade and our frost bombs. Like, we have the most up-to-date gear for our grenadiers at the moment, so we want to use it. Uh, I would replace tracer rounds now with the poison ones, viper rounds or venom rounds or whatever if I had access to them, or dragon rounds, but, you know, we don't, so whatever. Uh, we're going to bring the tactical vest and, of course, ally plating on everybody. Tack vest on uh, the boss. Everybody's got predator armor, lasers for everybody. Uh, battle scanner, we will bring that along with us. Might help us play the tempo game. Talon rounds, of course, because unless we put blue screen ammo on you, Talon rounds is pretty much the best we're going to have. Uh, med kits, I'm a little skeptical because we only have med kits on one soldier currently. Okay, you know what? I'm going to replace tracer rounds for an extra med kit on the boss. Other reason why this is good is because it'll make the boss poison immune. So the boss is poison immune due to med kit. Uh, Fox has smart macrophages. Um, True North has smart macrophages, so acid and poison immune. Um, and Butcher here has smart macrophages as well. Uh, you're immune due to medkit, and then you are not immune due to anything. I do have some PCSs. Impact fields, sure. Sure. And you get the plus defense one, I guess. Why not? So everybody has a PCS on them. We've got the Gremlin Mark II. We've got vests and alloy plating and shit on virtually everybody, except for the Grenadier has alloy plating but and Predator armor, but has uh, the consumables otherwise. We're going to need to keep tempo on this mission. We have to fully infiltrate it, so... We'll be going to 200%. But... Uh, It's going to be a critical one. Strength is three in the region, that's fine. Yeah, it's going to be critical that we do that. Like, top, top priority. We've got 156 intel, so we're doing okay for that. We need supplies, is what we need. Um, unless we want to start scanning the Shen site, which I really don't want to do until we get a mech. Guess we scan in New Arctic for a bit? Uh, I don't want to scan in New Arctic now, though. Because I want to... Well, we're going to do it anyway. I don't want to bring um, Advent Strength here up unnecessarily. We've acquired a new target for Gorilla Ops. Six days, 13 hours. I can do that. Hit counters a hidden dark event. Destroy the alien relay, attack Advent Counter Insurgency Ops. Yeah, if we send five people on this, we could probably get the activity down to very light or extremely light. We could probably afford to do this. I'll build a squad and I'll be right back. Alright, here's our team, I think. I could technically afford to put one more soldier in here, and I would consider a specialist, but I don't actually have a specialist available. They're all infiltrating or wounded at the moment. Yeah. Our specialists have been taking uh, kind of a tough beating lately. So we're going in with this squad with two medkits. We have poison immunity on them for medkits. Hazmat vest on Pasha here will give him poison immunity. Um, predator armor on everybody except for Flounder, our gunner. We're going to bring the grenades and uh, flashbang. We have alloy plating on um, Pasha. We only have, well, we've got two flashbangs. No, sorry, three flashbangs. We should be fine for flashbangs. 
And yeah, we're going to bring the tracer rounds on Dinger, who's going to be the officer for this mission. And I'm going to infiltrate this down. I'm going to spend the extra two days, I think, to infiltrate it down to as hard as we can to get this activity from light to hopefully extremely light. And then five people should be able to handle it, no problem. Especially, we've got decent gear. We've got better gear than we had in the... Uh, the um, uh, liberation mission. The liberation mission where we had to capture the VIP. Yeah, we've got better gear than we had in that one. And not too bad soldiers either. Pretty decent soldiers. Oh. They discovered one of our resistance havens. It's under attack. Great. Which one? East Asia, again. This is where they got us last time too, isn't it? I think so. Well, we're gonna end up losing all of our resistance personnel again, I think. Uh, okay, I don't have much gear. Or soldiers. I mean, we have to do the mission. Like, we absolutely have to do the mission, but we're gonna lose all of our people here again. Lovely. I'm gonna build a squad, and we're gonna go in. So we are scraping the bottom of the barrel on personnel and material for this squad. We have one um, Predator armor. It was actually on uh, Deadwood because he was equipped from the previous mission that I pulled him out of last minute. We moved it over to Styx. That's Dieter. Uh, we're, we're going without lasers on basically anybody. The best weapon we have is the laser sniper rifle, the laser lance and the arc blade on Dieter. Those are our big uh, killing power. We also have decent killing power in our uh, cannons and technically the regular sniper rifle if we, we get to it. The assault rifle not so much, submachine guns not so much. We do have a, a back row here with a bolt caster and a technical and a second shinobi. And in our front row we do have two gunners and two snipers because I literally just don't have any other soldiers available. The only other soldiers that are left in my barracks right now are uh, sharpshooters and I think one more ranger. So yeah, we got some decent people, like there are some good ranked, well equipped people who are pretty good at their job here, but um, we've got relatively low HP across the board, poor equipment, we don't really have the money to make more, uh, so this is, this is going to be an interesting one and we have to do it. So we might be losing a lot of people in this haven, is all I'm getting at. But I will see you when we reach the ground, because, yeah. Okay, so this is a defend the haven. This is a slightly different mission than the previous ones that we've seen. Uh, it's not like the traditional retaliation mission. We have to actually evac. So we, we start with an evac timer, nine turns. They get a reinforcement wave every turn, basically and we have to uh, kill them. I don't necessarily... They either get a reinforcement wave every turn or they get one every other turn. Like, they get the reinforcements incoming notice every turn. That could be it. So, yeah. Alright. So we have to take control of our personnel. So we have to actually walk up to them. That's where their first uh, wave is going to come, okay. So we either have to walk up to the resistance personnel to activate them, just like in other Haven missions, or we have to just hope that they don't fucking die. Um, we can use them, technically, once we get control of them, but the more important thing is that we keep them alive. We've got some high ground, there is minimal cover on it, but it could be good. And these can be faceless still. So just like, you know, you could have faceless before, you could have faceless here too. The resistance has done everything it can to convince people to join the cause. But it's an uphill battle when you've got advent whispering propaganda I can't actually do anything. Hours a day. Thank you, Bradford. So do we get control of this person? We didn't get control. We're not close enough. That sucks. That sucks a lot. I really kind of needed control of that person this turn. We can go for the double on these guys, but uh, 
if we've got ourselves a faceless in them, we might have some difficulty. All right. Can you guys get up there and steady weapon? No, very well. Just get up there then. Yep. Running. We'll do it without steady weapon. I want you in a position where you'll be able to, you know, shoot. Roger that. Because I hear shooting is good, and we like to do it. Problem is, if these guys are faceless and they pop on the enemy turn, they will get an act and they will get to just fuck me up. So it is in our interest to reveal them on this turn if they are. No, they are both actual resistance personnel. Very good. So let's get you somewhere defensible. Sure, go there. <coughs> Excuse me. This guy we haven't actually revealed yet. I'm I'm probably gonna dash to get that one. You have fortify. That's cool. You don't have a gun, but I mean fortify is good. I'm gonna put you there. I don't know how many people there are in this one. There are apparently five, and I can see three of them right now. If we don't rescue somebody, then they will be lost. Like, if we leave them behind, they will be lost, and we will be fucked for it. So we do want to find everybody. Yeah, we're going to take the dash. Okay, not a faceless. Very good. I think if they are a faceless, they will activate on us, the way faceless, you know, tend to activate. Uh, yeah, we'll put you guys in position to... Fuck them up with Overwatch. Uh, you are our officer. I already have sure two Rangers on this one as well as two Gunners. Is that what I just saw? Oh yeah, Sydney, right? Mhm. Mm That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So wait, wait, Shinobi, Shinobi. Where is our second gunner? Did I not bring two gunners? I could have sworn I brought two gunners. Oh, right there. <laughs> You're hiding on me. Out. Elena, go there. Awesome. That tarp looks really weird when it's on the ground like that. We can come back to here and overwatch, I guess, since you can't really get up to cover up here to do it. We do definitely want to find the other civilians as well. Any sign of where they might be? Approaching them alone is kind of hazardous to our health. Okay, there's one here. Uh, you can go for that. So I will actually put you back here behind this high cover. In a position where you can potentially help. Oh god, this, this is... Next turn? Next turn. We'll go for that next turn. Just for some anti-faceless protection. Alright, let's overwatch. Um, oh, you're the civilian. Right. Where do you go for safety? I don't want you to light on fire, so yeah, you're not going there. Sorry. You can go back here. It's high cover. Then we'll start making our way towards that direction. We got enough soldiers that even if we have shitty weapons, hopefully we can just, you know, sheer force of will buttfuck these guys. There is a mech. Wait, can we get corpses from this mission? We technically evac it, so I'm not sure if we get corpses from these missions. If we do, this could be blue screen protocol. Only three? Hit is good. Another hit's good. That was a big miss. That was unfortunate. Okay. So they are going to 
trigger for a reinforcement on the next turn. Yeah, using melee is going to be good. We're going to want to do it. Let's go and trigger this civilian, and hopefully it's not a faceless. Very good. I was pretty sure we cleared all of the faceless out of this uh, zone, and it's looking like that's probably the case. Where is the actual extraction as well? Do we get to see where the extraction is? Yeah, it's going to be up here. That's a little awkward. Not going to lie, that's that's a little on the awkward side. So I've got what? Oh, come on. Well, sucks to be you. I've got four civilians left, and I have access to three of them right now. That, that was very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay, so that heavy rocketeer has to die, right? Like, it, it's obvious that that's a must-kill this turn. I feel like the mech is a must-kill as well. And the officer is probably a must-kill. So this, this is just a giant clusterfuck of things that must die. On the bright side, you have vision on all of them, so you will have vision if I want to do any kind of uh, command plays here, which we probably will do. I mean, we're going to get mutons in the other groups, but we need to kill this shit too, don't we? So let's just go ahead and kill the heavy rocketeer. Boom. I'm busted. We do have two shinobis for the other groups. The other shinobi was just busy rescuing civilians at the time. Alright, goodbye. We need to kill this mech. That's right. So what's the best way of killing the mech going to be? Probably snipers. Probably snipers. Clutch shot. Nice. Yeah, you've got all the awesome abilities. Your precision shot gives you a 41 to crit, so we're going to go for that. It's a 10 damage crit. That was uh, that was mighty good. If I want you to be able to shoot that, you're going to have to move this turn. Otherwise, you won't be able to shoot over here on the next turn. Yeah, you're probably going to have to do that. Let's see if one of the gunners can do this. You got 72% on the mech. Let's go for it. We could save command maybe by using hail of bullets. Right. It's got five life left. We can definitely do five damage. Uh, do you have a shot? Not currently. Can you move to get a shot? Yes, without burning yourself. And you do have hail of bullets. Seems doable. So let's go there, and we're going to do that. And hopefully... Yeah, this should be a kill. Five is the minimum, and we can't graze. Okay. We still have a hail of bullets available. You're going to cross over here. You won't be able to steady weapon, but you oh, will yeah. be able to shoot on these guys on the next turn. It'll also give us vision on this side of the base. There is one more civilian out there somewhere. And I would love to rescue them if we can. I don't know where they are, but if we could rescue them, it would be great. Yeah, we're probably going to end up losing them. I don't know where they are and I don't want to move out to find out. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm going to probably need you somewhere where you're going to be useful. So let's move you here, Clutch. You have a regular sword, which is awkward. Awkward. Yeah, I'm just going to call it awkward. Uh, yeah, we're going to move you up to the roof. 
you'll probably be in range to move and rocket on the following turn. Dinger, as much as I'd like you to overwatch, is it better just to move you all the way? No, no, we'll move you here and we'll overwatch okay, you. Overwatch. You guys should move into a protected area. Uh, we want to use one on you, not fortify. You can't actually get to there. That's that's shitty. You can't get to there either. And Overwatch, that is. Yeah, that's that's just shitty. Um, I want you Overwatching because you have the ability, like you're you're spec for it, and you're actually the officer. You're uh, Sydney Hawkins over here. You're Enrique. Okay, well, we are going to move you here, then, and we're going to overwatch with you, because I, I need you overwatched. Sidewinders. Well, we're not going to get a shot on them. Is it just two? That's a Sidewinder Serpens. Yeah, it's just the two, I think, which is good. That's best case scenario here. Can you reach anything? Negative. Okay. Fair enough. What are your shots? Only 44 and 38 because they do have cover. That's unfortunate. You have 46 twice. That's good. And you also do not have range by one tile on either of them. That's bad. Um, what are we going to do here? I have a rocket. I'd rather not use a rocket willy-nilly, but I'd be glad to use a rocket if it's going to help. We have a flashbang grenade. Can we hit them both? Probably not, since they're on totally different planes. Yeah, I can't get the one up top with this. You've got a 47 on him, but he's also flanking you, so you should probably move. I mean, you can move and clutch shot him. <laughs> that could be interesting. We can't flank him, can we? No. Okay. So we can move. Whatever you say. We can rapid target him real quick. Let's see if we can dismantle the Sidewinder Serpents. It has 70 aim and 8 health. And it can do up to 8 damage, and a Serpens, I believe, has um, hit and run, which could be really bad. Uh, clutch Shot will not miss, or we can fan fire him. Only 38%. Clutch Shot is probably going to be better. Yeah, let's just go for the Clutch Shot. Nice. Five damage is as good as we could have asked. You have a shot, but you need to reload to take it. I'm not going to be doing any special abilities with you, I don't think, unless we just throw a grenade at one of these sidewinders. So... I'm not sure if we want to move up. You have two shots, but you don't have hail of bullets, and they're not very good shots anyway, and you don't have grazing fire. Do you have grazing fire? You don't. You have locked on. You, say so. you can take one shot, it's 19%. Yeah, huh. that's that's not particularly good. You've got two at 46. We might be able to do something with you. I can get you close enough to do something on a future turn, but you're not going to do anything this turn, basically. Which is also unfortunate. Yes, indeed it is. Alright, well, let's move oh, inside the building, then nuke. And in a future turn, you can go somewhere else and do something useful, but not this turn. Just as long as you don't get your ass flanked, that would be great. I could 
use command by moving like a shinobi up and not taking a shot or not like swinging and then command them and then finish something off that way but I get the feeling these guys are both going to be alive at the end of this turn you moved here this turn yeah so you can suppress you got 29 and 24 all we really need is a graze on this one so that's like 40 percent of graze it's probably worth taking this shot over suppression let's try it Nope. Shot failed to connect. Burning through ammo fast. Oh well, skis. Oh well. Light him up. Two damage graze. That's not bad. 57 on the second shot. Two damage graze again. Alright. We are applying damage. Applying damage is good. 48 and 44. We do have shadow fall. If it was a guaranteed chance to hit, I would go for it. You know what? We could probably shadow fall this one. If I rapid targeted it, it would be 81%. I am going to blow the rapid targeting on it. Boom. Shadow Keeper's not great, but... Uh, if I can get concealed again. One. Uh, this is why Shadow Keeper is not great. Okay. Well, I will use a grenade here then. We do have Concussion Rocket. Probably not hit both of them. I could, but we have a lot of scatter. So we're just going to grenade this Sidewinder, which I know I can kill. And crit with it. That's right, we do have biggest booms, so we can do stuff like that. And you're gonna go ahead to as close as you can without getting flanked by that Serpens, although you could probably get flanked by that Serpens. Solid copy. With hit and run, you can pretty much get flanked wherever wherever you go. Sydney Hawkins. Overwatch doesn't help against the Serpens. And you can't flashbang it. But Overwatch might help against something else. On Overwatch. So we will do it. You guys are going to hunker down. And you're going to move forward and hunker down as well. Yeah, we're not going to have any resistance personnel when this is done. That's unfortunate. Let's get you in position to do something on the next turn. Step it off. And I still have command. So we can still do a slick shinobi play. What do they get? Okay, still not that bad. Still no super elite mutons or anything. And they moved into a good position. I can melee that one and do another melee attack. Miss. Okay, good. Only action they get this turn. He's not... Oh, fuck. Did he get a free action? No, he's just going to do the, hey, I'm a commander thing. Okay, so they're getting reinforcements off camera. That's fine. You are going to go for a melee attack on the Serpens and just kill it because we can. They've seen me. You're using the regular sword, but... It has three life. You only did four damage. Yeah, so Clutch's job is to finish stuff off, whereas Stick's job is to fuck shit up. So Sticks could kill basically anything. That Grenadier should die. It's, uh... It's capable of doing a lot of damage, let's just say that. You've got a shot on it, so let's take that. It is a squad sight shot, so it can't see you. You know, a hit would have been really swell. Just saying, a hit would have been fan fucking tastic. Do I rocket here? Alternatively, I can concussion rocket and hit both of those guys with it. 
possibly stun them. Possibly blow up some cover, although I wouldn't count on it. It only has two tiles of scatter, so if we aim it like this, it should not miss, or it should not hit our dude, even if it scatters that way. Yeah, we could do that. That's an option. Uh, what else is available to us? They're not flanked, and we're not going to get them flanked. You can move up and get a shot on the Serpens. I think we're going to do that, and Halo bullets it. See what situation that leaves us in. You won't kill it. But seven is good. That means it's one away from death, which means a concussion rocket will probably kill that guy. So that's really good. You might have to reload. You Let's check your percentage first. 19. Yeah, we're just going to reload you. Four turns till your Halo Bullets is back. Which means we'll be able to use it on the escape turn. Which, you know, is better than nothing. Dinger. No, sorry. Dutch. Dinger's in the other mission. Dutch. We'll move you ahead to here. Can you see? You can. At 41%. Let's just try and kill that. No. Okay. Hmm. 42%, 33, 57 to hit the Grenadier. The Grenadier is going to do some serious damage if we don't kill it. I would like it to be dead. We've already used our officer. Let's try the precision shot on it. If we can kill it with the sniper, then I can kill all three of these guys. Okay, that's good. I think I can kill all three of these guys this turn then. That's how it's done. Maybe. I don't actually know what our percentages are gonna be. We should just concussion rocket, right? That makes the most sense. The most likely way to guarantee this. All right, Sydney, move I'm ahead. Just fourteen percent. All you need is a graze. Try and kill it. Nice. You actually didn't graze it. You did full damage. Good job. You're gonna move and reload this turn, so your bolt caster will be ready for the next one. You won't be on Overwatch, but it's okay-ish. <laughs> okay-ish. We're eventually going to need you to move. I'm going to start moving you guys now. I want you to be in position to evac when the time to evac comes. I want everybody to be in position to evac ultimately, but uh, you guys first. Only 76% because he has tactical senses and he can see a lot of us. Oh, this is sketchy, but you've got the best armor, so if you miss, then you miss. You didn't miss. Good. By the numbers. Is that a Berserker? That's a Berserker. Well, Berserkers can't counterattack, so good. And there's a Rocketeer as well. I don't know what else they got. That's the problem. Um... I'd really like to get you a shot. Can you hit the Berserker from... Come on. Fuck. This is going to be tough to see. Can you hit the Berserker from there? Yeah, you can. If we don't kill that Rocketeer... Oh, fuck. That's, that's not a good spot to stand, though. We can go here and we can just open the door. We should be able to hit the Berserker from there. If we can hit it from up here... Yeah, we can. So we should be able to just go here and open the door. That should be good enough. Yep. If we can flashbang the Rocketeer... Then I get a little bit more leniency with the Berserker. 
let's just check real quick. You have the ability to melee both of them. Problem is, I don't know what else is up there right now, so I'm not exactly the most in the world looking forward to doing that. You can melee the Berserker and be here. So that might be what you're going to do, like to finish it off maybe. And you'll get us better vision of what's up here. And then we can move in and kill the Rocketeer if we can after that. That's probably the best way of handling that. Well actually you've got 71 on the Rocketeer so let's just take that. If there is something else up there it doesn't really matter as much now. Impressed yet? I don't know if I would say impressed uh, if we all survive this mission and get out of here and everybody is peachy, peachy and hunky-dory then maybe I'll be impressed. Let's creep ahead a little. Can you see it from here? You can! 75, excellent. Hit. Yeah, that's not a hit. That, that's actually a miss. See, I could, I could give you the definition of what a hit and a miss is, but uh, I don't think it would help you very much. You're gonna reload an Overwatch. Currently it has to run towards me to do anything, so... And the closest person to it has Blade Storm. Anybody panic? Nobody panicked. Good. Yeah, let's uh, do this too. If it stuns, great. It's rare that the bolt caster stuns, but you gotta remember it is technically capable of it. And yeah, just shoot it. And miss it. Okay. Okay, no, that's that's fine. I mean, it's not like this could potentially kill all of us and end our mission right now or anything. You know, 70%? 3 damage, excellent. Okay, so that took him down, and I don't know if there are any more aliens in that pod. I'm not actually sure. Sticks. Where is the next reinforcement? Was it over this way? Or over this way? It's coming from behind us, right? I don't remember where it's coming from. Um... Let's go to here. No need to ask twice. A mech. A mech archer. That's not so good. They've got rockets. So where is that? Over here. Shit. Okay. All right. And a grenadier, a mech archer, and a trooper. They're bringing in reinforcements. And they've got an Overwatch. Okay, so the next one is behind them there. Three more turns. We're okay still. We are killing them all in like the turn or the turn after, so this is good. This is really good so far. Uh, this is a rocket turn, 100%. So let's just go ahead and shoot the rocket. Uh, could have been better, but it was good enough. We don't have melee range on anything. We're one out of range on the Grenadier. What about, uh... What about Clutch? Yeah, you can hit the Grenadier. And that's it. That's it. You can do sufficient damage to kill it, though, so that's good. Do you have Shadow Step? You do have Shadow Step, so you could do this relatively safely. Okay. So let's just engineer the kills on everything else. 69 on that trooper. What's your chance to hit? 100% on the mech, 97 on the trooper. So yeah, you shoot the trooper. Boom. Eight critical. Nice. That's right. It'd be nice if we got to keep these corpses. You shoot the mech archer. Well, you gotta take your free reload first. Tee hee hee. 
and then you shoot the mech archer and you actually have 100%. The percentage we saw before was your pistol shot, so yeah, okay, that makes sense. 12 damage critical. Well, how about that? And now you are going to take your regular old sword. You have 100% to hit. You've actually got 104%, so you've only got like a 6% chance to graze. And you did 9 damage, perfect. Alright, we're in good shape. Two turns left, so we do want you to move in this direction to be prepared to melee the next group that comes up, because they will be coming from that direction. Um, and we're going to want to get you guys into position where you'll be able to shoot. Go, go, go. And Dutch you as well. Running. And where you're going to be able to evac, potentially, as well. Good to go. So go ahead and hunker down. You have to wait until they get into position first, but whatever. Yeah, it looks like we're going to end up leaving one person behind. Because... Fucked if I want to deal with fighting that last person. You can technically see out that way, so you might get a shot from down here. Absolutely. You need to reload, though. So let's do that. Another Berserker. Bazaka. And two guys with him, an Engineer and a Trooper. The Engineer does not have an Incendiary Grenade. So this will be the... Uh, one turn remaining reinforcement. So let's deal with these guys real quick. Snipers. What are your shots? 54 on the trooper, 69 on the engineer. You can't see the berserker? Really? Okay, you need to reload. Luckily, you do have a free reload. 55 and 70, and you can't see the berserker. Okay, well, you shoot what you can see, right? So let's rapid target the engineer. Boing! And let's shoot it. 80% to hit the engineer. 14 to crit, and we do 5 if we hit anyway, so let's just kill it. Well done. 10 damage. By the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the numbers and all that shit. Uh, other sniper. 54. Well, we're going to rapid target his ass. He's got three life. <laughs> yeah, we're rapid. It's super, super important that we shoot this guy, guys. 64. A graze will be sufficient with three HP. So. Well, we crit him for 10 with his three life. That was certainly enough to kill. And you can see the Berserker, but. I'm not sure we're killing it this turn because nobody else can really see it. Like, none of the people on the high ground can see this thing. So, how do we rectify this? Well, you reload and overwatch. Let's do this. I'm on it. You can flashbang him. And you should pull back. Yeah, you pull back to here. You can flashbang him. Problem is, I'm going to have to put so much fire on this Berserker next turn that I'm not going to be able to deal with this whole wave, probably. So I'm a little worried about that. I can flashbang him. He'll move slowly. If he does reach me, I can Bladestorm him. I think you have Bladestorm? Do you have Bladestorm? You do. So if he does reach me, we can do that. You can't hit that. We don't want to take cover here because that's a propane tank. That would be very bad for our health, potentially. We can take cover over here, though. That's two tiles away from it. 
more than two tiles. That's the third tile out away from it, so that's good. You're gonna overwatch. Berserkers pretty much always move first, I think. So... I think we're okay in that respect. You should just overwatch. And you're gonna get your head down. You too. And you finally. If they, uh... Do start overwhelming us on the bright side, there's only one more turn. Okay, so that's two Vipers, a Rocketeer. Killing that Rocketeer now would be awesome. Okay, we didn't kill the Rocketeer. But it is in range of a kill, so it's fine. Bladestorm? Oh wow, it got to us. Eight damage. Does it get to hit us? It didn't hit us. Is somebody burning? Yeah, the cleaner is burning. That's not good. Uh, you've got a medkit. Unfortunately, you won't be able to do anything after you medkit yourself. Who else has a medkit? Pretty much everybody has medkits, right? Yeah. So, you're probably best off medkitting her. Who can she see? She can see the Heavy Rocketeer. And the Heavy Rocketeer basically has to die. So, yeah. Eighty-seven with no chance to crit. So do we just hail the bullets that guy? What can you see from down here? You don't have hail of bullets for that heavy rocketeer. Is the heavy rocketeer the guy that you can see? No, it's the viper. Okay, can you move anywhere where you will have hail of bullets on that heavy rocketeer? Yes. That would be right here. So let's do that. Oh shit, you don't have hail of bullets up. Well, fuck my life. I should have moved into a position where I could have flanked then instead. Well, we've got 92 for the Berserker, so we'll take that. Four damage is better than zero damage. You! Can you move to somewhere where you can hail bullets at Rocketeer? Yes. So let's do that. Hail of bullets on the heavy Rocketeer, please. Blocks. Now if I melee the Viper, am I going to have enough movement to get out on the next turn? I don't know for sure that I will. If we moved you, no. We're not going to move you. 20% to crit too. Let's just bring it down. Nicely done. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, we gotta kill the vipers, right? You can flank this one. Sure thing. Although I'm gonna hold your turn for a moment. I know I'm like you can flank this one, but we are gonna hold your turn just a second here. Yeah, you'll still have the ability to go there, so this is fine. What's over there? You are gonna shoot this one. Okay. That's good. Um, I don't know if you're gonna have range to escape if we melee this guy, but we're gonna do it. Nice. Well done. And then the one that has That's one HP. Done. Okay. If I can kill it with y not you. You've already... No, the cleaner hasn't acted. If I can kill it with her somehow. On my way. If I can take a pistol shot and kill the thing. You had to jump down, I guess because he was in the way, right? Did you just light yourself on fire again? 
Did you not get medkitted last turn? No, you didn't. Ah, fuck. I guess I'll be okay. Yeah, well, you know what? I can concussion rocket it. And then you're definitely going to be in range to get out. Four tile scatter. Don't stun my own guy. Didn't hit anything. That's unfortunate. Because they would have been in range to get out. If I could have killed it with that, I could have commanded Styx, and then Styx definitely would have been able to get out on the next turn. Um... Well, let's just kill it with light him up. That's right. And clutch is going to pull back. Move, move, move. The roof is on fire. Having it burned down, the evac zone would be very, very bad right now. And I guess you can heal yourself. You'll be fine. Just to relieve the fire and the burning. Yeah, if if it burned down the evac zone and it had to relocate, I don't know where we would have to go. Okay, so it's a muton. I was expecting mutons before this though. I'm actually surprised that we didn't get one until now. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Okay, we never really got in a position where we were drastically overwhelmed, and you can absolutely evac. You can basically get anywhere on the map, I'm trusting you here. so you're fine. I'm on it. Let's just start getting everybody out, and even pass. if we can't get everybody out, we are still going to extract everybody who can this turn, because fewer targets for next turn is a good thing. I can keep quick people in a position where they're going to have a hard time shooting them hunkered down with high HP and that's a good thing looks like we're only getting three resistance personnel out of this though that's very unfortunate I know none of them are faceless we're not getting any faceless in the resistance in this area anymore Yeah, you're out. And Deadwood, you're out. I'm going. Then I got three more people to get out. Let's where's Evac all? <laughs> There's too many buttons. Evac all. That's the first nine. Yeah, there is still a resistance personnel out there somewhere and I don't know where they are and I'm not gonna get them so sorry and this is gonna lower our supply income again because these guys were working on supplies and now whoever survived is gonna have to work on recruitment it's really unfortunate <sighs> Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, we killed 19 out of 22 aliens. Um, no wounds, so... We lost two civilians. One died and one we just left behind. That's... That's disheartening. But, I mean... We got through it, and the Haven is intact, so... I guess... I guess we're fine. We're as good as... Right? We're as good as we were able to do, and we're just going to have to go from here. This, this haven's already been hit hard, so, you know, it was weak already. I'll see you at base. There's no way what kind of experience did we get? Like we got a few promotions. I'm, impressed, I'm, I'm actually impressed that we got promotions, because we brought uh, eight people on that mission. They had to split the experience a long way.
Yeah, let's get you Iron Curtain. Nuke. Excuse me, we'll also pick up Iron Curtain. Deadwood. Awesome, getting you promoted is good, because that gets you a new AWC ability, I think. Uh, vital point targeting, I believe. Attacks against your hollow targeted enemies deal more damage. And that's it. Not bad, though. No items recovered. We managed to save three civilians here, but it's not good. That's going to hurt our income even more, although we're still above 400. Uh, the Haven here, Advent Strength 8, the Haven here is down to three people. I'm going to keep them on supply until the supply drop, and then we're going to have to start recruiting here, I think. Oh right, our Haven advisor was there. That's why Sidney Hawkins was there. That's why we had a second um, Ranger, because our Haven advisor was there to assist us. Well, he's going to help with recruitment here because uh, soldiers help with recruitment. That's going to be sort of the next step in this one. That was rough. It was real rough. We're going to keep them on supply, though, until the supply drop in four days, and then we will switch them over to recruitment, I guess. Man, that, that sucks. We're 93% on the network tower. We're going to go all the way to 200. They pulled soldiers from Western USA. New Arctic now has four strength. They were at three. Man. Okay, fine. New Arctic is where, like, this is my main haven right now. And it's good. If we're going to free them, that means that I'm going to have a lot of people here potentially in a liberated zone. So, could be good. Could be good, guys. Could be good. But that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.